Welcome back to Toy Fair, guys. We are here at McFarland Toys. That's right, Todd the God McFarland, who does Spawn that you guys know, is doing the amazing new Fortnite line of toys with a whole bunch of other ones, including Mortal Kombat. We're going to give you a tour of Destiny and some of the incredible things he's doing, including like the sports lines and just everything. So, guys, this is Comic Book Artist Radio Director Greg White from BeyondComics.tv. Make sure to subscribe and follow and get ready for the tour. Perfect. You want to start here or do you want to start at uh... So what you're looking at now is our 7-inch Fortnite line. We've got many figures in this line that feature our Ultra Articulation. That's 22 plus moving parts. Each figure comes with a harvesting tool, a weapon, and a unique back bling. And what's the release date again? So the release date varies, but uh, everyone you're looking at now is actually in stores. Um, but all the toys you're going to see are coming out this year. As we move on, I'll be able to show you. Everyone you've looked at has already come out. And as we move, I'll be able to show you what, uh, what toys aren't out yet and when they come out. Perfect. So you're about to come over to our Carbide and Omega. They're the uh, orange and purple box on your right. These ones will be coming out next month. So like uh, in March? Yep. Terrific. And they also have the 22 points of articulation. Yep, every single tool you're looking at wills, except for one, which I'll talk about. So and the one you're looking at right up there, the Raven. So this one currently only has five points of articulation, and you'll notice it's much more of a traditional McFarlane, more of a statue. The points of articulation are just to fit it in the box, but this will look uh, really good as a, as a statue and a collectible that way. Great. And the articulation would be mostly head and shoulder, yep, I'm guessing? head, shoulders, and uh, elbow. Okay. Waist also? Yeah. Okay, great. And down here, this is the collection that will be coming out later this year. That's a shopping cart assortment, and we'll feature two figures, this as well terrific. as a pickaxe and a weapon. And this is 7-inch? Uh, yep. And 12, one, right? Yep. And to your right is a fully articulated ultra articulation 12 inch, which is this guy. Uh, the Ice King. So this has super articulation. Yep, ultra articulation. How many points? 22 plus. Great. Yep. And that's a 12 inch one. Yep. Now you're looking at some of our prototypes that'll be coming out later this year. Very nice. Hitting the dab. <laughs> Each one of our figures is going to be able to ride on um, our vehicles that we got coming out. Oh, great. Right now you're looking at the glider. Movable and poseable. Very nice detail on that, too. Then you see the quad crasher. It can fit two figures, someone on the back plate as well as someone driving. Very nice. Moving wheels and steering column. Now we're looking at some of the McFarland Sports. As you can see, uh, a lot of old teams. These are all, these are all older uh, toys that we've already come out with. However, uh, we will be coming out with brand new lineups for Madden and NBA oh, great. Uh, with brand new poses. Fantastic. And these as well, right? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. These are main porch training. Gotcha. And you guys are just distributing these for them, right? Correct. Okay. Did McFarland's people sculpt them? Uh, these ones they did. Okay. Yeah. So that's still within the team. Uh huh. These ones we did. Okay. So don't worry about these guys. I'm just showing you to show you. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> much. And now swapping over here. Our tiny furry friends. And you just wave your yeah, hand? Yeah, get close. Those are my Jedi powers, guys. Great. And then we're heading over here. Let's take a left. Bang. So here we have some really hype toys. Uh, this April, the new season of Game of Thrones, the conclusion comes out soon. 
So we made uh, the fan favorites. We've got the Ice King here, featured in his uh, final season garb, and he's got two uh, uh, White Walker weapons. Then next to him is Viserion the Ice Dragon. Spoiler alert, it's the dead one that uh, got brought back to life, and his brother Drogon. Did they show that already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's in the that's that's old news. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gotten so many. <laughs> yeah, uh, John Snow, fan favorite. Oh yeah. I know. I should have given you a little bit more <laughs> spoiler alert warning. Uh, Arya Stark, as well as Daenerys. Fantastic. Yeah, I should have put a big pause in there. Right. Right. Now moving to our Stranger Things line, you'll notice this is our last year's lineup, but we're just showcasing here because we're also hyped about the brand new season coming out. There it is. We've got two toys already confirmed. It's going to be Chief Hopper and Eleven. Wow. Uh, we unfortunately cannot show them because uh, that one would be an even bigger spoiler. <laughs> coming soon, guys. Subscribe for updates, and I'll make them available when possible. Yeah, there we go. We've got our, our Labyrinth figure, so our um, Goblin King Jareth did really well. So we wanted to really revisit that and reprise it, so we created the Dance Magic Jareth. This Great. is the Jareth from the show where he's actually singing the song Dance Magic Dance, Magic Dance, and it actually comes with a puntable goblin. That's great. That he punts. <laughs> Punt action. Punt action, yeah, right, right. Action so here's our anime line. Uh, we talked briefly about ultra articulation. These anime figures will all feature that uh, ultra articulation, so you can pose them in unique poses to create your favorite fighting scenes. Fantastic. Yeah, we've got the My Hero Academia, the One Punch Man, Naruto Shippuden. And this is a unique one here. We're covering um, Shigaraki. Not a very uh, common figure, so we're really excited about that one. And release dates? Um, it, it varies. We're saying fall for uh, My Hero Academia. Okay. Summer for One Punch Man. All this year. Yeah. It's all this year, yeah. There's a couple that are coming out next year, like uh, what you'll see is Fallout. Okay. And that one's coming out later. Cool. And this is the Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start off the lineup with just a 7-inch Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Amazing. Yeah, those are going to be super fun. And obviously it's a deep, deep uh, character pool to select from. So we want to do a lot of figures from that line. And next to them we have the Bethesda IP, which covers uh, the Elder Scrolls, Doom, and Fallout. So Fallout is the particular one that we're going to do in 2020, so that's not coming out this year. Okay. So we're hoping to kick it off with a vault suit and power armor. Then we're doing Doom Slayer, a.k.a. Doom Guy, and okay. Alduin from Elder Scrolls. Fantastic. So here we're looking at our Hello Neighbor figures. We've done a... Uh, Todd McFarlane, um, the construction series with these guys, as well as figures. This was uh, kind of an indie hit amongst kids. We're just hanging on to the IP, hoping to do some new stuff soon. Great. Heading over to Five Nights at Freddy's. We're looking at all of our constructibles here. Um, we've got some large sets, some small sets, and some micro sets coming out. The goal with this is to kind of close out the last game, as well as introduce at the end uh, a step in towards the new game with the uh, Temple of the Fox tour. Nice. And then moving over to our Cuphead uh, construction. This game is really unique in that it, it covers that hand-drawn 1930s, 1940s aesthetic. We actually got the uh, artist from the game to create all the boxes. So the box art is very unique and original. Okay. And we have a, 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 um, a, a tiered rarity line box with Cuphead. Oh, cool. Now here we have our Destiny collection. This is all the stuff that came out in 2018. Uh, we're really hoping to do some new Destiny stuff down the line. We're hoping to hear from them soon. There's Cave 6. Mean Muggin. Oh, man. These are great. And these are all out? Yep. All these toys are out. And what's the articulation on this one? Uh, they don't have very many. That's a, that's very static. That one's a statue. And these? Um, I'm actually not sure the exact point of articulation on these guys. Oh, and uh, Call of Duty. Yeah. So looking at our Call of Duty, we've got two new characters that we're coming out with this year, uh, as well as our old line. Uh, we have all of our old ones here for reference, and then we've got, in the fall of 2019, we've got... Um, Rick Toffin coming out, as well nice. as Frank Woods. Nice. 
so keep your surprises up. And um, all before the end of the year. Yeah. Are these um, partially laser scanned uh, faces combined with sculpts, or are they just pure sculpts? They're sculpts. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And now. Bang. So we've got two new Borderland characters coming out this year. We're going to reprise the Psycho as well as Lilith. Everything else you're looking at is something we've already done. Um, there's rumors of some some fun news from uh, the guys at Gearbox. We're really hoping some are true. So we're, uh, we're really hoping and waiting that something cool will come out and we'll be able to make it. Fantastic. And all released before the end of the year. Correct. And uh, articulation? These have the, the same articulation that the previous had, so it's uh, about 14. Still good, yeah. yeah. That's Todd the man who started this company, guys, for those of you kiddies who don't know. Red. Guys, this has been the McFarlane Toys showroom at New York Toy Fair. It has been such a thrill and a blast to be here. I'm about to have a little interview with Todd McFarlane, so stay tuned for updates. Make sure to subscribe and follow. This is Comic Book Artist Writer and Director Greg Wake from BeyondComics.tv coming at you live and direct. Thank you guys so much for helping us hit over 2.9 million views on YouTube. And as they say in comics, to be continued. Peace.